Winston Anderson removes chairs from what looks like a giant bank vault tucked away in the corner of his garage. This large steel box is actually a storm shelter. We're on a slab here. Uh, we have no basement. And uh, it was just a matter of finding something that uh, we felt would uh, help us out. This Atlas storm shelter is big enough for four to six people. Winston and his wife Karen added carpet and a few other essentials for when they have to use it. We usually uh, have a, a couple of chairs in there. Uh, uh, we bring a radio in with us. Keith Edmonds has been selling these types of shelters for four years. I put one in up at Pilger. Uh, we've put a probably, I don't know, maybe 15 or 20 in the Omaha area. He says the shelters can be bolted down and come equipped with vents, a vault style door, and a one inch thick steel hinge, which can stand up to practically anything mother nature can throw at it. It's above FEMA standards and it's been tested with the EF5, so you know, it'll withstand the EF5. In this video, a wooden projectile slams into it at more than 200 miles per hour with barely even a scratch. Even a fallen car can't crack it. Depending on the size of the shelter, they can cost between four and $8,000. As a lifelong Nebraskan, Anderson says you can't put a price on safety during a storm. It's a peace of mind thing, very definitely. Now, if you're interested in learning more about those shelters, look for this story online, ktv.com. We have a link to the company there. Of course, talking to Winston and his wife there, they're very grateful to have that uh, that's that storm shelter with them because they don't have a basement so always good to have a safe spot to go in the storms because now we're wrapping up march going into april